Avastar. Does it blend? What? I have the impression that many Avastar users only have very little experience with Blender. So, if you are newbie, and if you just have managed to open Blender, and you already succeeded with installing Avastar, then this video is made for you. But maybe you already know everything about Blender, you just have only very little to no experience with Avastar. In that case, please keep here as well. So, for the beginning let's add some color to our life in Blender. Go to, Edit, Preferences, Themes. From the preset selection at the top, select, Avastar. This is my favorite setup and I made it mostly just for adding some color to the viewport. There is not much more going on here for now. So you can skip this step if you do not like my colors. You always can get back here later and change the setup to your likes. So, if you like what you see, then just hit the Save Preferences button to make this setting permanent. Let us close this window for now and turn back to the viewport. Here you see three objects. A cube. A camera. And a light. Let us remove these objects from the scene, as we do not need them for our work with Avastar. But no worries. We can add them back any time later when we really need them. If you prefer to keep these objects in the scene, then of course you can just leave them where they are. However, if you want to remove them, then select the cube by clicking on it with the left mouse button. Then press and hold down the shift key on the keyboard. And select the camera and the light, again by clicking on them. While doing this you can see the previously selected objects get marked with an orange outline while the outline of the most recently selected object is yellow. Finally, on the keyboard, press, X, and confirm that you want to delete all selected objects. If you want to keep the cube removed when you restart Blender the next time, then you can now make the current viewport settings permanent. For doing this, you just need to navigate to File, Defaults, Save Startup File, and again confirm that you want to save your settings. Well, there are a few more settings which you would like to change over time, so now you are prepared and next time it will be easy to do. Now let's start by doing something more interesting. But please let me give you a word of warning. You must understand that we try to fly the jumbo before we can even crawl on ground. But we are positive minds, so come on and let's try it at least. If you step into problems, then there are many dozens of good Blender courses on the web, where you can find a way out of wherever you got stuck. So, having said this, then let's go ahead and add an Avastar character to the scene. Navigate to, Add, Avastar, Complete. After a few seconds the Second Life character appears. What you see here, is the original Avatar, precisely as it is defined by the Second Life viewer. It comes with all its mesh parts. However, currently some parts are hidden. The most important part of the character is its rig. Which, in Blender terms, is also named armature. The armature is the set of green shapes and lines which are arranged around the grey avatar body. We will later see that these shapes are actually building a skeleton that is made out of bones. We are now at the end of the first episode. But no worries. In the next episode we will inspect the Avastar in much greater detail. And of course we will take a look at the Avastar user interface, so you later can find the tools when you are working on your own projects. Avastar. Does it blend?